what's going on everybody yeah you know, just want to get on here and show you guys like the easiest way to uh, side chain an FL studio and um, kind of the reason to do this or you know is for like um, basically ducking audio kind of make a maybe a kick stand out when you got a lot of low-end stuff going on you also uh, you know side chain um, you know melodies or you know, anything and basically the easiest way is through uh, gross beat you know and um, once you load it up here I got this one already loaded but you know pretty simple you just load it up and then uh, hit the side chain option you know and from there what I like about it personally is uh, that you can um, start to shape the uh, the way it side chains you know so for like this track you, know, you got a sub bass here you know you got your kit going let me just play these two And so you can kind of start to play around with um, how much this is affected by like the uh, the ducking, you know. So it's like the uh, the way it works is like um, this little button here. <laughs> you know, this is on every beat, you know. And so you you bring it down. The kick is going to hit uh, right there. This is like a four to the floor type of beat, you know. And so you're just going to where the kick uh, hits you're going to drop the audio all the way down in the volume and then you can start shaping it by grabbing that little tension uh, button here and and moving it up and down um, depending on how much uh, bass you want to come in right after the kick and then you can hear the difference And kind of, um, you know, why I like gross beat compared to just like linking it to a controller or something like that is, is basically because it gives you this option to kind of play with the, uh, the different uh, tension settings so you can really dial in the, uh, the type of um, side chain effect that you're going for, you know, and, and you can kind of uh, mess around with just, uh, you know, if you're going to just mess around with kind of getting your low end right, you can... Uh, kind of added on multiple channels and, and kind of shape a cool sound you know the same thing too if you're going to um, you know just let's do um, everything but the bass basically <laughs> You know, and so for like this, um, kind of, yeah, kind of a interesting little plucky sound there. You know, and you can um, kind of dial in the way um, you want, to, uh, kind of how it affects with like you know, everything else. You can kind of dial it in if you want the kick to stand out a little bit more. Um, like with this, you can also chain like put the volume down a little bit. Yeah, you know, so it doesn't um, you know hit so hard. You know, it, and and uh, kind of have that kind of ducking sound that side chain normally has. You know, and so yeah, I just wanted to share that you know tip on you know side chaining using gross beat. You know, it's about the easiest way to do it, and plus um, gives you a lot of options on how you shape the uh, the sound and how it ducks in and out. And uh, yeah, I just want to share that with you guys. So other than that, have, I appreciate you guys liking, sharing, you know, subscribing, and um, yeah, other than that, have a good rest of your day and God bless.